to ask you to read angels. Who wants to speak? I should, but angels messed up everything from the member of Albert asking for bipartisanship and for us to be more decent with one another. I could see why he's sitting over there and not where over the end. And why he's now known as Mr. 47%. Because that's all he gets from his party and he can't get 50% because of that very same kind of behavior. I mean, How did, his, how did the leader of the opposition refer to him? He shouldn't be on the morning show whining and crying, sounding like a wounded hog. Member, member, quoting, I'm quoting. Mr. I'm Pratt, quoting the leader of the opposition. Member, member I am, allow, allow me to respond, member for college. This is the challenge. This is the challenge we seem to have with one another. You call me a decision maker, but in the same breath, you don't allow me to make the decisions, man. Hi. Well, Madam Madam Speaker, uh, Prime Minister, please, can we not also ref let us refrain from descending in that sort of language or reference to that type of language? Thank you. Thanks, Madam Speaker. But I was just quoting what your leader of the opposition said about you, not he. He said that about you. Well, now you know. Now you know. Uh, we're rep so the member of Colette's question to you um, for seeking for clarification, no? Um, he behaves like a child, like a baby. I guess the therapy not the work. Member, mem, mem, Mr. Prime Minister, I beg you to you take that back. I beg you to take that back, Mr. Prime Minister. Please. Well, I'm no Please. therapist. I'm probably going to take it back, but maybe never take right. a meds or something, but that's okay. Anyway. Thank you. He is speaking about accountability and transparency and making about this all issue about BTL and versus smart, as if somehow I had my hand in some way or s with, with this matter. And Mr. Smith from CETO met the, the media. He took out a release <clears throat> and clearly pointed out how this process went about. I wasn't even aware that the Microsoft um, um, license for 365, Office 365 was coming to an end. I had absolutely no idea. But the problem with BTL is that they are used to fleecing the government of Belize. And they believe that any price that they put, that they can get it. That's what happened with the Ministry of, Fi of, of uh, Foreign Affairs. That the Ministry of Foreign Affairs met with the people of BTL, met with the people of SMART, and because they are with smart at this moment, they are saving $3,000 every single month, Madam Speaker. And that's a fact. Now you talk about these three months. You see, it is, it is so ironic that he gets more information from certain public officers than me as a prime minister of this country. Because it is obvious that they have their UDP agents set up in this government. And they have them set up deliberately in certain positions to undermine the work of this government. That's what they did, Madam Speaker. When we were sitting on the other side, we got absolutely nothing from those very same officers that all of a sudden are so pious and feel that they have to feed you information. The UDP was fleecing this country to the tunes of millions of dollars and they said nothing. Now, over a matter that was clear and transparent, they are trying to create an issue as if something went wrong. The very technical people from CETO and the people of Ministry of Finance has disabused what the member of college have said, trying to confuse the people, Madam Speaker. The truth of the matter, and I have to be careful, I don't want to be sounding if I'm here trying to defend Speednet. I have no financial interest from speed debt. I've never gotten a dollar from speed debt. But when you come here and, and, and just blatantly lie, like when you are talking that the, the um, sister, of the 
CEO or the, or the, the, the widow of the former, the Honorable Nero Vega, and and um, Roger, Roger and um, um, and Roger got a contract. It is not true. The minister has now said it that he did not. They did not get a contract. So the Konya and and like we said, you just throw mud on the wall and hoping that something is going to say, stick against the wall, trying to create aspersions and trying to dirty people's name. That is what you're doing. And you should be ashamed of it, man. But back to this matter. It was very clear. When the bids were open, all three entities were there. And they had a special password. The password was given to everybody and they opened it right there on the spot. Could you wait now? Stop making a fool of yourself, man. Listen. Stop making a fool of yourself. Prime Minister. You're embarrassing Minister. yourself. You're embarrassing yourself, Minister, a member of college. You're embarrassing yourself. When a member is on his feet and That's speaking That's why they refer to you as a whining and screaming hug. This man, not me, refer to you like that. But Madam Speaker, let me try to finish and try to enlighten this man. Because he's trying... He drew first blood, you know, my member from Albert. He drew, he drew first blood. I promise you, I was going to be him. But make sure you think he bends on the coin. Members, can we just... Members, Mr. Prime Minister, can you yes, please continue? And I will try welcome. to finish. Thank you. Let me quickly go through it, Madam Speaker, and I'll stop. Anyway, as what has been reported to me, the contract was coming to an end. And of course, the government should have done this months ago to ask for bidding, for bids. And they didn't. They did it last minute when the contract was coming to an end. This is, I haven't seen anything. This is what's been told to me. CETO, as a technical office, sent out the bids. And three of them, BTL, Smart, and some other company things from Trinidad put in a bid. Smart is a reseller of Microsoft services. They are a reseller of Microsoft Office just the way BTL is. And based on what was asked, the three companies put in a bid. And it was open transparently in front of everybody. And SpeedNet did put a better bid than all of them. And that is why the contract was awarded to SMART. Now, the member from Collette is trying to confuse people about these three months that was awarded. The three months was awarded by the, the, the minister, sorry, the financial secretary, unknown to everybody to be ETL for another three months because they are trying to wrap up on the issue of the, of the, of the bids and the contracts. That is why BTL was given another three months. There's nothing sinister or nothing corrupt about it. It was a straight forward. The information that they gave you, they either as wrong information so you could embarrass yourself here or you are deliberately trying to turn, kind of misconstrue the facts. I'm trying to confuse people as if something was going, was, was, was done wrong um, right here, Madam Speaker. So I want to end and uh, not get in the mud with the, whatever they refer to him. I want to finish up by saying this was an open and transparent process that was done, something that the UDP never did, the government. And secondly, I want to make it abundantly clear I had absolutely nothing to do with this. I wasn't even aware that it was taking place. I didn't even know that SpeedNet got the, the contract till long after it hit the news. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Member for uh, Mesopotamia, Leader of the Opposition. I have a point of order. There Madam is Speaker, no response. are you going to list? I have a point of order. No, you don't have. Sit yes, down. Do. You don't talk, man. Sit down. 
Madam Speaker, standing order 35-4 allows me to clarify. And I'm not giving him the... I'm you, not, it's I'm not, not yielding you, for you sir, to clarify. It's up to the Speaker. Absolutely not. Madam Speaker, Sit can, you, can you refer to standing Member, order 35-4? I'm, I'm very well acquainted with 35-4. And it says that I can. It's not to elucidate, you know, this is a different standing order. Please read it, Madam Speaker. I'm very aware. What's your point of order? Standing order 35-4 allows a member to rise again, to be heard, to offer explanations of some material, put up a part of his speech that he alleges has been misquoted. The Prime Minister clearly misquoted what I said just now, you know. The, the Prime Minister, Madam Speaker, has not one, answered. One second. No, no, no. Not, one has, second. He has I, said... Member, he, Mr. Prime Minister well, and you. Member for Colette, you said misquote. Can you state what the misquote? Don't state he didn't answer the question. What was Madam Speaker, he, he is saying that there is not a combined period. What was the misquote? The misquote is that he's, he's saying that I did not say that there was a combined period where he's paying both Smart and SpeedNet. Both SpeedNet and BTL, sorry. And there is a combined period. So what, what So I, the misquote, to be clear, the misquote member is that you stated the there was a combined the period. The government is paying BTL, Madam Speaker, $295,000 And the misquote member? He misquoted me in that, Madam Speaker. Rec and he's also paying Smart Speed Net for those very same three months. Member, member, I will not allow this. Please sit. But it is... No, Madam you're Speaker repeating what you already wrote on. 35.4 allows me to do this. You asked for the... I specifically asked you what was misquoted. You stated it. Kindly take your seat. But in member the middle of what my clarification, you are... In